how to test ceramic capacitors. Testing ceramic capacitors are very confusing because in each circuit, there is a technique and some values that you have to know in order to test ceramic capacitors correctly. That's why, guys, in this course, I'm going to teach you how to check and how to test the ceramic capacitors correctly in order to avoid removing component or capacitors randomly and wasting time and of course damage god component so let's get started but please my friends don't forget to subscribe like your likes really motivate me to create more unique videos for you and share the video check my website my patreon page you can join my facebook group all links in the description and of course don't forget to comment i always do my best to answer all comments let's get started okay my friends the first thing is to select the continuity mode in the multimeter of course you can use the capacitance mode in the multimeter but for me i prefer the continuity mode and basically using the continuity mode you can test a lot of components including mosfets capacitors inductors fuses diodes etc that's why the continuity mode is very important so the continuity mode is selected let's check capacitors so basically guys to check ceramic capacitors we find a lot of ceramic capacitors in every motherboard as you can see but the testing is different from one circuit to another circuit for those capacity guys, you will get a high reading or sometimes you can get no reading. This is good, no problem. Do you see? So for those capacity guys, you will get a high reading. Do you see 500 reading? This one, for example, I have about 700. Okay. Do you see? High red. Here, for example, in 3 volt, 5 volt circuit, let's check these capacitors. I have 300 this one also you see guys high reading okay but if we move on to the cpu circuit this is basically an integrated cpu here we have many capacitors those kind of capacitor have its own testing for example if we check this one we get four this one you see four this is normal guys this one also we get three. So is this a short, guys? No, it's not a short circuit. Easy. And we know that uh, not just the serum capacitor, but all components next to the CPU chip, okay? Basically, all components, you're going to find a very low reading. Do you see? Four. Also, for this capacitor, if we check here, MOSFET, you see, we have four this MOSFET also. So this is normal for CPU circuits, okay? But if we move on to other circuits, we don't have to get a low rating. We have always to get a high rating, okay? So this is good. But my friends, if we move on to other capacitor, for example, here we have an integrated processor and here we have capacitors. Basically, in this capacitor, if we check it, we have to get a low rating about. It could be 11, it could be 5, it could be 4, etc. But if we check the capacitor and we get 0 in the multimeter like this one, so this is a short circuit. Okay, so this is, this circuit basically is shorted, as you can see. All serial capacitors, we get zero here, means we have a short circuit. This is not normal, this is short. So the short hair guys, could be one of these serial capacitors, all those, as you can see, okay, it could be this driver over here, so this is basically the input capacitors. Let's check it. That holds 19 volts. So here, 
this is good we didn't have a short so the short is not in the input because the 19 volt coming from this side to this driver and then this is the output capacitor so here we have a short it could be in the circuit or it could be in the cpu itself but I'm sure that the short circuit is not in the CPU. Why? Because if we move on to other circuit next to the CPU, for example, this circuit, let's check. Okay, here also we have a short. Good. Let's move on to this one also. Okay. This one. We have seven. Good. This one. 7, this seems to be good, let's check, okay, guys, okay, let's check this side also, guys, okay, we have 13, okay, this, guys, because basically here we have, because for the processor, we have many channels, so if just there is one channel that is shorted, all other channels will be shorted so here basically guys the component that can be shorted the short is in the cpu circuit and the the sign guys the sign without even checking the component the sign that the short is the in the cpu circuit is that the fan spin about maybe four seconds or five seconds and then shut down okay so my friend please remember when you get in a laptop with a spinning fan three second five seven like this means the problem is in the cpu and especially in sv s0 means the power states failed to reach s0 state where the cpu and vcc core are generated this is the cpu control ic next, next to the cpu basically if we check the serum capacitors here in the back the same thing okay so here we have 11 this one zero this one 11 okay this one also i have zero so this is a very confusing short circuit but we can even check if the ic is the shorted one or not by checking the ceramic capacitors around the ic guys like this okay let's check this one okay no short this one no short no short no short here this one also no short guys the ic is not the shorted component so the ic here as excluded it's not shorted the ic is not shorted this is how you can check in seconds if the ic is the bad one or not okay so the shortest component could be one of ceramic capacitors here around the processor it could be one of these drivers some of you can ask me where is the MOSFET for this motherboard the MOSFETs basically this driver contain the MOSFETs okay guys the MOSFETs are inside this driver as you can see guys let's zoom in in a little bit those drivers here are MOSFETs MOSFETs are inside those drivers or ICs that's why I told you the problem could be this one could be the drivers or ceramic capacitors for the IC is not the shorter component why again why because I check the ceramic capacitors around the IC and are not shorted okay so the IC is excluded guys thank you very much I hope that you understand a little bit the video please don't forget to like subscribe share and hit the bell icon and of course if you want to accelerate learning you can join me in my Patreon page you can check my website all links in the description